guys welcome back to the channel so today i'm gonna be showing you guys a variety of stuff that i have been using to get through the two week liquid diet um after you get surgery i'm five days post op and i'm gonna show you guys what's been working for me so obviously it's a liquid diet um, your two main important things is water and your protein shakes. You need to be hydrated. You need to be getting 64 ounces of water in, whether that be just plain water or crystal light. Um, and then a couple things count towards water, at least on my program, like soup and I'm pretty sure milk counts as well. Um, but the protein shakes don't count as water. So, sorry for the background noise. I have my two babies. Um, but the first protein shake that I've been drinking that I like um, is the Fair Life. I tried the protein or the Premier proteins and I just wasn't a fan. I know a lot of people rave about them, but definitely taste test before you buy in bulk. Um, I did that mistake. I bought in bulk and now I'm stuck with a whole bunch of chocolate ones. But I bought this um, peanut butter powder to add into it. So I'll get to that. But as of right now, I really like the Fair Life. <clears throat> um, then if I did have to pick one from Premier Protein, I do like the caramel one. This one is okay, cold. And then the apple one, apple cinnamon is pretty good too. So these are some other shakes I've been drinking. Now, in my mind, I was so fixated that it needed to be a 30 gram protein. And they told me, like, they were like, you know, 30 grams is better, but you can switch it up. So, I really like Slim Fast, and I really like these ones from Walmart. They're the Equate brand, but there's only 10 grams in them, but it gives me a different flavor. What happened? A whale. That is a whale. A monkey. A monkey? You have to see him, guys. He's too funny. I bought him new bottles. Um, but yeah, so this is just like for a different flavor. So if I'm not feeling those because I'm getting tired of them, keep in mind, I had to do a week of liquid diet before my surgery too. I got lucky. A lot of people have to do two weeks before and after. I had to just do a week leading up to surgery. Um, so keep in mind, I've been drinking about two of those a day and it's getting pretty boring. So I went and picked these up just because I do really like them. Um... I also um, have Slim Fast. This is another one that I really like, and I mix it with 1% milk. I just really love the taste of it. Again, this one's only 10 grams, and um, it helps me get my milk in then. If I wanna switch it up, I'll use milk and this. Um, okay, so then the next thing that everyone knows about is soup. So, when you're on the liquid diet, you're gonna be having a lot of soup. So get creative with it. There's tons of different soups out there. Me personally, I've been doing a lot of broccoli cheddar from Panera. I just really, really like that one. Um, I tell them not to put the chunks in it and it's been going good for me even after surgery. I know some people said you couldn't do creamy soups until like a week after, but they never told me anything about that. So I was having it. I had it the day I went home and I did perfectly fine. So that's one soup. And then for my broth guys, I've been doing Raymond packets. Um, so literally I will just take the packets like this. I'll open it. I'll either make the noodles for my kids or throw them out. It's like three bucks for all of these. And I take the packet, I add it in water, and that's just been what I've been drinking. I really like that one, and I like the beef one. So I do broccoli cheddar and this, and I just picked up the baked potato to try, but I have to drain this one from Panera. So those are some of the soups. Now, moving along, everyone knows about sugar-free Jello. This one, I do do sugar-free because it's not that bad. But for pudding, I have been doing the ones with sugar in it. I just can't get myself to like the sugar-free ones. 
and everything is sugar free. So I was like, you know, one thing is okay. So I do get the regular puddings. So I'm starting not to like the vanilla ones. So I get the chocolate and the triple chocolate one. So I really like this one out. I love this one right here. Okay, so now, the next couple things that I've been living off of are ice pops. This is like what's helping me get through it the most, probably. So they're all sugar-free. I get the chocolate ones. I get the, like, flavored ones. And then... These ones are so good. They're the Outshine and no sugar added. And the flavors are just a little bit different. So I got a couple of those. So the next thing of, other than popsicles are yogurts. You can have yogurts. I am like a huge child and my kids eat these anyways. So I do go just because they're like little tiny tubes. Before, um, when I was pre-op, Josh... No, baby. When I was pre-op, I was just having normal yogurt, but now my stomach is so small. I don't like wasting yogurt. I don't like opening it and then eating it later. So these really work for me just because they're like super skinny and I'm able to finish it and throw it out and move along. I don't have to save yogurt. So I do really like go -Gurts. But I also picked these up today. So remember when we were kids and we used to have like the Danimal drinks? So this is like an adult version of that. It's pretty much like a little smoothie. It's like liquefied yogurt. So I picked these up today. And then I also picked up sugar-free whipped cream to put on my pudding and to put on my sugar-free Jello. So I think this is gonna help out a lot. I also picked up sugar-free Cool Whip, literally to just eat it. Um, but I also follow a girl on Instagram. I'm gonna leave her link down below cause she's really been helping me. She's a little bit further along than I am. But she takes this, okay? Cool Whip, she takes some of this, mixes this with like a chocolate premier protein and she has like a little whip. It's like a little machine whisker thing. And she makes like, almost like a milkshake because this thickens it up and then this adds the peanut butter flavor to it so I really wanted to try that so that's why I have both of these and then a couple of drinks and then we're gonna move on to my secret weapons okay guys so obviously crystal lights that's just like what everyone raves about they're super low in calorie low sugars this one has none this is the fruit punch i like the fruit punch i like the peach iced tea and then the raspberry lemonade is my favorite that's like my all-time favorite one but these two are really good too as well and then another drink that i've been doing is the powerade no sugar added i really like the blue and the red the purple and the orange i got sick of um but the blue and red are really good um I also wanted to give you guys a shout out about this, not to get it. This is the Protein 2.0. There's 15 grams of protein in here and I think they are so disgusting. So again, I bought it in bulk because I thought I was gonna like it and I don't like it. So I would definitely like taste test these before you buy in bulk as well. Okay, so now moving on to some like secret you know, things to help you get by. So I got lollipops. I got a bunch of sugar-free candies just to like, I don't know, you know when you like, you wanna like chew on something but you can't. So this will give me like that sensation. These are Jolly Ranchers. I got some mints and some sugar-free caramel chocolate little thing so I think these are gonna help a lot then I got a whole bunch of gum again just to have that sensation of your chewing on something and I got a bunch of different flavors so like a strawberry and 
I also got these. So these are like the same thing. They're for your waters, but I follow another girl and she said to get ice and smash it, crush the ice up and add this on top. And it's gonna be like you're eating a slushy. So it's kind of like the popsicles, but a different texture cause you can crunch on the ice. So I like ran and got this. I got the fruit punch and the raspberry lemonade and I'm so excited. It's too late now to go get ice, but that's gonna be like the first thing I do tomorrow. Um, and then my all time secret right here, guys. First of all, I wanna show you guys. I went and picked up this really cute kid utensil set. Look how little, these were like three bucks for a fork and two spoons. I thought this was super cute. And so I'm gonna show you guys the first one. So there's another girl. I follow a whole bunch of girls. I'm gonna leave them linked down below because I don't really know their usernames like that. But um, it was so funny because you know, you're being real. Like I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Like this is how it really is. It's hard, the two week on liquids, nothing but liquids. So I'm in a group and they say that, you know, some people have cracked and they, you know, took a piece of food, they chewed on it, but then they spit it out. So this is what I'm gonna try. Just because it's not so easy to break it down, you really have to chew on it. So just so I could get some type of flavor in my mouth, I'm gonna be doing this. And the stats on this is not awful. It has 10 grams of protein. Um, how many sugars? Four sugars, like it's not awful. So I'm gonna use this to chew on. I had gotten an other one. It has to be the tender bites because the regular um, like beef jerky just like breaks apart. Like I tried it and I almost freaked out on like my second day post-op. So she was saying it has to be the tender bites so it doesn't just like break apart. And then my all time like secret so these are Takis. Now these are super hot, but what I like about them is that it kind of is like I'm eating chips, but I just take them, I put them in my mouth and I suck off the flavoring off of them. And I like these because they don't like just turn to mush. Like for example, I did a Cheeto, right? I was like trying to eat the cheesy goodness off of the Cheeto and it like melted in my mouth. So I didn't like that because I still have to spit it out. So these are so awesome because you can eat it, take off all the coating and the chip itself is still hard. So it's not like a gr something that's so gross. Whereas other foods, if you try to do that, like a Dorito or whatever, it just kind of crumbles apart. So these stay intact. You can enjoy the flavoring and then put it, you know, I have a separate bag on the side and that's what I do. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. I know I was looking all over the internet like a mad woman, like what are different tips and tricks, like just something other than popsicles, water, you know what I mean? So I hope it helped and I'm gonna be updating some more videos. I'm moving on to the puree stage soon. Um, I saw my nutritionist today and she said that I can start doing like eggs and like the ricotta bake that everyone talks about in like a couple days, which is kind of early, but that's what she told me to do. I might just wait it out to probably like 10 days. Today's day five. So five more days and then I'll probably start doing that and I'll definitely be back and I'll definitely make an updated video on like what my favorite foods were for the puree stage too. So if you have any questions, follow me on Instagram. I update over there a lot and I'll see you guys in the next video.